Hi, Yolanda. I'd like to go through your milestone three. Um, and the first thing I noticed is that this is completely different than the, boy, what was it called last week's? It wasn't groom. It was something else. Um, Maine, I think it was. And the, I, I think a lot has changed and I think that it's a definite improvement, but I'm still really confused in, in a lot of things. And I, and I just want to go through the presentation and I'm going to show you a, a presentation that I consider to be very highly developed at this point in, in the game. I think that you're, I, I think that for you to change your concept midstream, so to speak, is really highly unusual. Um, it would be synonymous to, I don't know, like, let's say you have a client and you and your client say, okay, um, you show your client last week's, you know, the main magazine and your client says, okay, let's go with that. And then you come back next week with this and your client would be going, what the heck is going on? Right. And that's kind of how I felt when I opened it up. So, and, and in design, you, you really have to start to think about developing a, an idea and sticking with that idea and, and really, really developing that idea as opposed to maybe shifting ideas midstream, so to speak. So what we have here is, is we have some really unusual typographic things, uh, treatment going on. And I, I think that um, a lot of this came out of nowhere. I highly would have advised against this big red stroke on the G. It's, it's just not working. And then separating the M, I, I don't, I, I conceptually, I, I don't get it. Um, the, the cover, the image on the cover, it's better, definitely better than the last one, but this person um, looks kind of sickly. Um, I, I, I'm, and plus the, the face is shoved way up here. So basically all we're getting is this body shot. So, you know, you want to concentrate on your focal point and then have all your type over here stuffed to the left side of the composition, which is really, really making it imbalanced. Um, and then I'm not real sure why you have your numbers on your, like, uh, is this the contents page? Uh, maybe this is the contents page. I, I don't know. But then what is this? Do you see where the confusion comes in? This has the page numbers. So, and then you have contents, but nowhere does it say Groom Magazine or, or so, so you can see where I'm really confused. Now you have this blue nostalgia, um, future of blue nostalgia. Okay, so, and then what you have here is over here, you've got this one, two, three, four, five column grid. And then over here, you have a two column grid. So how does that work? I mean, where's the consistency there? You've got your type like really everywhere. Like right here, it, it, it changes and it goes from this column down here. And then I'm not sure what happens here. Is this jumping the, here it jumps the column. Here he breaks down five great and volume, let the, uh, it, it just doesn't, you see what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. If I pull out um, a ruler here, let's go command R. Let's go command R. Where are we? Command R and there's our rulers. And if I pull out a guide, Let's go down here and I'm going to just pull out this guide and I'm going to place it on your baseline. And you can see none of your other baselines line up. You've got a character count of a maybe 20 something, low 20s, and that's not working. So refer to our optimal character count lesson that, um, from week two and week three and, and try to adhere to setting up that kind of a, a grid. Um, okay. Um, you've got, there's no page numbers. Um, this create your own boundaries just kind of appears out of nowhere. So I'm just, I'm really lost here. Um, let me show you where you should be right now, Yolanda, because we're really starting to really wrap up the course here. And here's another um, magazine cover of showing the typography and really paying attention to, to hierarchy and mixing typefaces and creating hierarchy, uh, typographic hierarchy around a focal point, um, an image focal point, okay? Then let's move to the um, 
contents page and you can see again we got some really nice hierarchy going on um beautiful beautiful contents page you know and then the crew and then you have your your masthead over here just gorgeous three column grid and then that three column grid continues over here here we can see we've got these really nicely set up paragraphs with a nice paragraph count justified but set so that there's no type there's a nice no um, spaces between letters and words very very nice space between paragraphs nice drop cap there really really good attention to the mast to the um folios here here really good consistent attention to, to uh the baseline grid okay so do, do, do you see what i'm saying um so i would like to see this more developed at this point i know this is was turned in um, um, a little bit late. But again, I, I, I just really think that you need to spend a little bit more time going through some of the course materials and some of the uh, course resources, a um, ton of resources, plus all the videos and stuff where I talk about what's accepted generally and what's not accepted typographically. And you can also go through some of the other videos that I've left for your classmates. I mean, there's just uh, so much information. Um, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Okay, thanks.